From the freshest, palest, yellowy hues to the dark forest shades, green is the most abundant colour found in nature, but how and where do you use it to its best effect? Well, here's my guide to getting it right. There's an almost infinite amount of different shades of green and you only have to go outside and take a look around to see how well they all work together. But choosing the right green for the right look can be a bit daunting. Follow this guide and you'll find the right one for you. Pastel shades like pistachio are a real cornerstone of Scandinavian decorating and work very well with white faded chalky blues, soft yellows and pale woods. At the bluer end of the spectrum, aqua and pale turquoise continue to be the most popular choice for the home, especially in bathrooms. These colours are said to have healing properties and lend a safe, soothing feel to a room. Light greens look really smart with cream, white and vanilla, but if your room catches a lot of sunshine, go for a green with a blue base to balance out the visual temperature. Muted greens sit very well with salmon pink, pale lavender and even scarlet in the right doses. If you're using aqua or turquoise, you can bring out the green hues by adding some punchy greens with your accessories. And white will always make it look crisp and zesty. Mixing pale greens with milky raspberry and dusky pink along with cream and pale wood will give you a pretty contemporary feel inspired by the English countryside. For a softer look, muted greens go very well with natural tones like pale torp and stone. Pale muted greens have a slight retro feel about them, so if that doesn't appeal to you, it might be the bright greens that'll tickle your fancy. From the zesty greens through the colours of grass to vibrant emerald, saturated green gives a room a bold look without overwhelming it. These hues work best as a background colour, patterned or plain, and suit simple schemes that are loaded with white. This boldness of the colour also suits chinoiserie accessories, so you can completely change the look and feel of a room. Bright greens look very contemporary when accented with black, charcoal and white. Or, if you're after a more period feel, you can twin it with the soft honeysuckle pink. If you want to use lots of greens together, then go right ahead. Don't worry about them clashing or not matching, you only have to look at the garden to see how well it'll work. We're programmed to like it. Bright greens go very well with woods that have a high content of red in them. Cherry, teak and walnut will all work very well. Classic bottle green and British racing green are the best loved, most used dark greens but more contemporary versions of these classics have more blue in them, like teal. It's a wonderful backdrop for a room and should be twinned with tonal shades, navy blue and even black for the most dramatic effect. The best rooms for this scheme will be the ones that get plenty of natural daylight, otherwise they might seem a little bit gloomy and uninviting. For a vibrant scheme, team these dark greens with glorious reds like scarlet and crimson. Keeping the tonal values the same will give you the most dramatic effect. Mixing dark greens with warm woods like oak and beech is a surprisingly easy combination to live with. If it's just that little bit too dark for you, pepper a little white around with your accessories and soft furnishings to lighten the mood. If you want something more invigorating, then layer your deep green with a paler zesty shade like apple or lime. A healthy dose of black and dark woods with a touch of white will keep it looking contemporary. The great thing about using green is it spans the entire mood spectrum. So whatever mood you want, there will be a green to suit it. <laughs>